Welcome to another installment of my video blog. We're on the House floor where we're about to start another busy week here in the legislature. Just a little bit of recap since it's been a couple weeks since I've had a video. Um, we've just finished up last Thursday, the final week of the House deadline to get all of the House measures over into the Senate. Just wanted to highlight a couple things. I was proud to carry the speakers, uh, House Bill 2301, which deals with rural health care access, allowing an exemption for doctors who move their medical practice into rural areas of the state, uh, gives an incentive for them to move into. Um, rural health care access has been something I've worked on passionately this, this year through my House Bill 1013 uh, with our nurse practitioners. This is just another step that, that we're using uh, to, to really improve our the health care access and quality across the state of Oklahoma. I also had a measure pass this past Thursday uh, House Bill 1515, which dealt with allowing uh, you as an individual to register your car should you see fit uh, on a, on a two-year basis. Right now you have to register your vehicle on a one-year basis, an annual basis, and this would open up the option for you to buy a two-year tag. A lot has been talked about and discussed over the last couple years about our tax credits and our tax subsidies. An important measure that we pass off this House floor and sending it over to the Senate is House Bill 2298 dealing with uh, wind tax credits. Uh, this measure would shut down uh, the tax credit, make it no longer available after July 1st of this year. Um, if a wind turbine, if a company comes in is building wind turbines and it's not in the air spinning by July 1, then the state wouldn't have to pay out any more money past that. It's an important measure because our wind tax credits have done so much for our state, but at the same time, uh, they have served their purpose. The wind industry is here, it's here to stay. Uh, it's strong, it's vibrant, and we want to continue to have that industry here in Oklahoma, but also not have a financial responsibility from the state's standpoint, uh, spending hundreds of millions of dollars uh, towards a private uh, industry, so that's an important measure. We also have looked at the apportionments, or off-the-top monies. Um, if you look at our state budget right now, about 43% of all the money and taxes and fees that the state takes in is able to be apportioned by the, st by the legislature. Uh, only 43% out of every dollar that severely inhibits our ability to, to place money where, uh, where it's needed, such as teacher pay raises and state employee pay raises and, and issues that we hear about from our constituents on a daily basis. I remain completely optimistic and, and uh, positive as we move towards the end of session that the answers that we're working on, my fellow leadership members, uh, as we work through the issues here in the House, that we're going to come out with a final product that, that all Oklahomans are going to be proud of. So if you ever need anything from me or my office, please don't hesitate to let us know. That's why we're here. It's my pleasure to serve you and the wonderful people of House District 27.